What's up, y'all? Good afternoon. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Frank. This morals over money. Just want to give you guys a quick little update on Gene. So, Gene, everybody knows. A couple weeks ago, he was hit in the face uh, with a bat, broke some of his teeth, broke his nose, I believe his orbital bone. Um, then he was in a coma for a little while. Um, got out of the coma. He had tubes down his throat, all that stuff. You see in one of the interviews, and me doing an update with him. Then he was released from the hospital. He was released from the hospital. He was in Kensington, back to getting high, um, back to not doing the best. Um, and then over the weekend, this weekend that just passed, Gene was stabbed. Uh, in the chest I believe um, his mother called me told me what happened um, so he's back in intensive care in the ICU he's alive he's got you know some stitches and staples and um, healing to do He's in the hospital. I will be seeing Gene tomorrow. Um, so everybody, please keep Gene in your prayers and well wishes. And not only Gene, but his mother. At the next <clears throat> light, turn right. You know, and this shit reminds me so much. So many times um, we try to do things our way, right? And God... Um... God sees what we do, right? So he'll try to give us warnings or wake-up calls. You know, and the form of the wake-up call came when Gene got hit with the bat, right? And then he fell into a coma, things like that. Then he gets stabbed. Um, those are all God trying to give him signs like, yo, calm down, calm down. <clears throat> and this, just for me, I feel like... At the light, turn right onto West Valley Avenue. And just for me, I feel like every time I've had a major, major crisis, you know, like a, a real bad problem in my life, there was always a lot of stuff that came before it, right? There's a whole bunch of things that started to go wrong and warning signs that came before it. Um, everything... 2.3 miles, turn left onto Pennsylvania 61 South. You know, like I just didn't wake up one day and my whole life was falling apart you know whole life was fell apart it happens gradually like the day I overdosed right let me use this for an example my daughter's mother kept my daughter from me that was one thing that went wrong we hopped in the car went to Philly I left my license and my money at home at this time I didn't carry cash on me I carried a card so I didn't have no cash so my money was on the card right we got a flat tire on the way there we got pulled over by the cops then the cops had to come and uh essentially watch us while the car was towed right then i went to go pick up my two little bags that i got that day and the corner was they were sold out so i went to another corner that corner was like yo we we, we in between shifts come back in 15 minutes right so I didn't wait, I went to another corner. Got those bags and those bags are what led to my overdose. So I say that to say that everything was going wrong. The normal person, right? Me being clear headed with clarity today would have noticed, all right, there's too many things going wrong. This, this many things going wrong in my life right now, when I'm going to do something wrong is a sign that whatever I'm doing, I need to stop doing. God is trying to give me these signs, right? And when we don't listen, God will sit us down. Um, that could be in the form of prison. That could be in the form of getting locked up, you know, for a weekend. That could be in the form of waking up in a hospital. That could be in the form of having a car accident, whatever it might be. Um, he tried to give me so many signs and I ignored all of them until I woke up in a hospital with tubes down my throat and was lucky to be alive. At the next light, turn left. 
So I'm sure that that's happened to everybody on this channel. Um, I'm, I'm sure that's happened. So I'll see him. So I'll go see him. Um, if anybody would like to leave a comment below that I could read to him. At the light, turn left onto Pennsylvania 61 South. And that I could read to him or let him read himself. Uh, drop it in the comment section. And uh, please keep him in prayer, him and his family in prayer. This is a critical time for them. They're literally in a battle for this man's life. Um, you know, and Gene, everybody that knows me and Gene uh, relationship miles, turn left onto West Sundry Street. knows that he holds an important, you know, uh, knows that we have a, a, a good friendship, you know, so just keep him in prayer for healing and well wishes and I'll keep you guys informed. Thank you guys. Remember to hit that like button. It's not a game.